Okay, okay, page 637, uh, number 15. A Geiger counter, which is just a, a handheld wand that picks up radiation, and every time kind of looks like those ones at the airport where they, you know, when they um, run it over your legs if you set off the metal detector. and But this one goes beep, beep, beep every time it finds radiation. So a Geiger counter requires an initial reading of, uh, register, excuse me, initial reading of 300 and 20 counts, no, 3,200 counts. So 3,200 counts, and so I'm going to use CI for that, C for counts instead of M for mass. Measuring a radioactive substance in 100 counts, so CF is 100 counts, uh, 30 hours later, so delta T, 30 hours. What is the half-life of the substance? So first, CF is equal to CI over 2 to the N. So 2 to the N is equal to CI over CF. So 32 over 100. So 2 to the N equals 32. So N should equal 5. OK, if N equals 5, then we know um, T one half is equal to delta T over N. Sorry, I was just trying to find where I actually did this. Um, maybe I don't. Uh, I'm not sure which way I told you the equation. Maybe N is equal to delta T over T one half. Anyway, so you rearrange it. So T one half is equal to thirty hours, and there's five of them. So the half-life should be six hours. Okay, so that's number 15. Number 16 is the one that some of you said you had issues with. So a 14 gram sample of uh, carbon 14 contains Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Sorry, my book's too far away. I can't see the subscripts or superscripts. Okay, so that stuff I'm going to come back. You don't need that yet. The part you need at the beginning is a 5-gram sample. So MI is 5 grams. A 5-gram sample um, will have how many non-decayed nuclei after, so delta T after 11,460 years. So the first thing you have to do is look up the half-life, okay? Um, and when you look up the half-life, then you're going to use N is equal to delta T over T one-half. And so you have 11, 4,060 years. And if I remember correctly, the half-life is 5,000-something, right? 5,730. 5,730 should have been able to guess that. It's going to work out perfectly. N is equal to 2. So you have two half-lives. So you can now find your final, your final mass. So M final is equal to M initial over 2 to the N. So this part of the question is just your normal. So 5 grams over 2 to the 2. So 5 grams over 4. So you get a final mass of 1.25 grams, okay? But here, now the part about Avogadro's number. So it says, how many non-decayed nuclei will you have after that? So the beginning part said that a um, 14 grams has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd um, non-decayed nuclei, okay? Nuclei. And it wants to know then, so how many non-decayed nuclei will 1.25 grams have? So it's really just going to be a ratio. So you can do x over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd will equal, uh, if I put x on the top, 1.25 grams over 14 grams. And then just cross multiply and solve for x. So Multiply Avogadro's number by 1.25, divide by 14, and you should get 5.375.
times 10 to the 23rd. Now, I would never do something like this to you. This part, definitely, but I wouldn't make you do the ratio like that. Okay, and number 17 says a one gram sample. A one, oops, sorry, one microgram sample. A one microgram sample of a radioactive material contains 6 to the 14th nuclei. So 6 times 10 to the 14th nuclei. After 48 hours, so delta T, 48 hours. After 48 hours, 0.25, so M final, 0.25 micrograms. So this is actually M initial here. Remain, what is the half-life? So M final is equal to M initial over 2 to the N. So 2 to the N is equal to initial over final. So 1 microgram over 0.25 micrograms is 4. And so N must equal 2. Um, and it wanted to know half-life. So T to the 1 half will equal delta T over N. 48 hours over 2. Half-life should be 24 hours. How could one determine the activity of the sample at 24 hours using this? So then if you wanted the activity, you would then um, use this 6.014 per nuclei, right, and multiply it by your 0.25. Again, I will not do this to you, okay? Um, yeah, you could do the slope of the line. Yeah, you don't. I won't ask you part B. You don't even worry about it, okay? All right. Um, so that was 16, 17. I think I'm going to stop and do the 15, 16, 17. I'm going to stop and do the sheet questions on a second video.